Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. Well, good morning. Nick Collier here, and uh, today we've got a, a fairly short little project. Uh, it shouldn't take long. Um, we're going to uh, punch a hole through this pulley and also trim off uh, some of the uh, bulk on both sides of, of the pulley. Um, you know, uh, it's going to take a while to set it up, but then once we do it, he wants me to make four of them. Uh, he, he already has the pulleys. So I'm not going to make the pulleys. So uh, we're going to kind of get started here by... Uh, we got we just put the four jaw chuck in, and we're going to set up one of the pulleys in the four jaw and right, square it so up. Let's open up our jaws, and I'm guessing we're going to go, oh, about halfway between these first lines here. So we are bottomed out here and we got a nice machine surface there, but it kind of sits a little too far in. Okay, we found ourselves a spacer, an old piece that uh, I screwed up the, uh, the threads. Now, what I want to do is I want to get it to go in a little bit further and notice there's a shoulder right here. So I think what I want to do is take it over to the small lathe, turn this down a little bit more so that it'll fit inside of there and then this will, and it'll be squared up, and then this will bottom out onto that, just barely, but it will, and we'll go from there. All right, we're going to go over to the small Okay, lathe. we're going to take this uh, outer diameter to uh, 2 inches 750. We'll take it down to 10,000, 15,000 smaller. And right now we're sitting at, what are we sitting at? Oh, way over that. So let's not even worry about it until we get closer. We're going to take little dinky cuts here. Okay, let's see if this sleeve is going to go in there, and it looks like it's going to fit in there perfectly. So now we bring our pulley in, and it still sits a little bit low, but I think we can live with that. Well, that's actually not, a, not an edge, is it? Hmm. No, it's a machined edge. All right, well, let's just see how things go. I think we might actually indicate to the hole anyhow, because that's where we really want to to uh, pull our, our uh, measurement. Well, that's not too far off, about a quarter inch or so, no big deal. Let's, uh, let's get ourselves an indicator close by here, and uh, we need to pull that... Uh, that uh, Allen bolt or set screw. All right, so we're a bit off, maybe almost 80 thousandths or so. And there's our high. Bring this back a little bit. Crank that forward a little bit. All right, so we're sitting, oh, I don't know, what about two-tenths? Okay, we got our first pulley set up here. Um, 
it's oh, about seven o'clock in the morning and on a Sunday morning and uh, our neighborhood's pretty quiet so I you know want to be uh, considerate of the neighbors and not crank this noisy ass machine up uh, um, until about eight or eight thirty so we're, we're all set up to go and I'm gonna go over and do some other quiet work until uh, uh, for another hour or so and then we'll come back to this we'll see you in well we'll see you in about an hour or so Okay, so before we go any further, let's do a quick check on our our run out this way and uh, see how that looks. And we'll just bring a little button uh, uh, indicator in here and run it into that corner there. Now you're not going to be able to see this. And we're sitting at about three thousands. And I'm not sure that that isn't the paint that's on there. Let me get something to scrape that off with. Okay, so what we need to do is come in and uh, take this face off. We're going to leave a hundred and ten thousandths on that face from this uh, this face here. So I think what we want to do first is we want to come in and just kiss this. And get our, get our zero. We zero out the DRO, and then we know when we're 150 thousandths out, there's 170, 160, 150. So we'll just zero that out. 150 or 115? 115. Okay. So. That would be 35. 30. Okay, so we're going to come in with a bit that's just a little bit smaller than what uh, what our finished hole is, and uh, get rough out most of the crap out of that. Okay, we're uh, going to start in on our fourth one. Uh, we pretty much have the program down now, so uh, it's a lot easier to deal with. Um, I like to just leave everything in place for this kind of stuff and uh, all my indicators are just set ready to go Oops. 
So we're sitting at about um, 800 thousandths, and he wants me to bring it back to 500, so we have 300 to take out of that. I think we just put this collar back in. Oops. And this direction um, doesn't have to be centered. Oops. We definitely want to not make too many tooth marks here. Since we're already here and it's all set up and it's pretty easy to do, I mean, I don't have to get it super accurate, but let's get it to where we can uh, Yeah, I'd say we're a little off here. And this is the high end. No, nope, wait, wait. Yeah, three or four thousandths I can live with. And the surface is four or five. That's good. <laughs> 